What's up, YouTube? This is Brian from GP Riding Customs. Uh, today we're going to talk about pulling six by nines out of this Dodge and putting six and a halfs in it. Uh, the customer no longer wants six by nines; he wants to upgrade his speakers to Focal six and a halfs. So, in order to do that, we have to build a plate that will go in the factory location that will hold a six and a half speaker. So, we're going to do that now. So let's go to my office. Welcome to my office. The koala's home, away from home. All right, so I already have a magical template to make this. So but for those of you that don't know how to make this, I'm gonna tell you a quick and simple way of making this template. First of all, get some quarter inch MDF or whatever, doesn't matter what kind of wood you use, quarter inch is usually easier to work with on a router. Take your piece of wood, put your speaker on it, and screw the speaker down, and grind this. If you have screws to poke through, grind that off flat, and then you can take it and run it around your router, and you have a perfect outside dimension of a six by nine. Now, to do the hole, you need one of two things. You either need a template, or you need a perfect circle. And that I will discuss later when I'm building the box. But if you have neither one of those, the best thing to do is to draw your circle, drill a hole, and take a jigsaw and very, on a low speed, cut the circle out. Low speed will ha help you control your cut a lot better and hopefully it won't be so wavy. I like to use uh, my many different templates that I have here, a uh, perfect circle, I like for it to be perfect. I don't like all the jagged cuts in it. But anyway, we're going to get going. We're going to take that and we're going to transfer it to a piece of 3 8 plexiglass. I like to use plexiglass because it's a lot harder than MDF wood. You don't really want to put MDF wood in a door panel. You want to keep as much wood out of the car as possible because if any water gets on this piece of wood, it's going to swell up and it's just going to be nasty and it's going to fall apart later. This piece of plexiglass is pretty much water resistant. You can throw it in a lake and it will be there 10 years later. One more thing before I get going and, and to make this, another reason why I like to use plexiglass over any kind of uh, like ABS or PVC or, or MDF, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot more dense. So you got to think that you're creating a baffle for a speaker so the more dense that it is the better that speaker is going to perform so that's another reason why I like to use plexiglass The next thing we're going to do, since we got it made, all of these edges are like super sharp. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take my smallest round over and I'm going to round over every edge on here just to smooth it out, make it look nice. That way when we paint it, it looks almost like a factory piece.
The next question you might ask is, what kind of screw am I supposed to use to put through plexiglass? Because everybody knows you try to put a screw through plexiglass, you're going to crack the plexiglass. If you don't know about that, try taking some plexiglass and running a screw through it. You'll probably crack it. Anyway, I, another reason I like to use plexiglass is I can tap the speaker mount holes, and I normally tap them at an 832. So I'm going to tap these real quick, and then I'll show you how easy it is to put a screw in afterwards. There you go, that's all there is to it. Do that three more times, all four doors will be done. If you like this video, subscribe. If you got any comments, leave them down below. If there's anything that you want us to teach you and you think I can teach you, let me know about it and we'll see what we can do. And always, always share your knowledge.